It's spooky season on this week's episode of Dub Geographic. We stop by the anthropology department to see some bones, met with Dr. Michaela Howells, talked to some students, and shared an interesting snack. All that and more coming up, so stay tuned. Happy Halloween, Seahawks! Things are getting spooky here in the studio. This week, we are talking about bones. But not just bones. This week, we are highlighting some of the amazing opportunities of the UNCW Department of Anthropology, the Anthropology Club, and we're going to go find some skeletons in the closet. I'm your host, Indiana Jones, and you're watching Dub Geographic. Anthropology, to put it simply, is the study of humans. But what is so unique about anthropology is that it accomplishes its goal of understanding humanity through both scientific and more interpretive methods. It is a holistic approach and in the United States is comprised of four main subfields, cultural, biological, archeological, and linguistic anthropology. But to talk more about this and to show you some awesome specimens, we headed out of studio to the anthropology lab. Hey guys, we are here in the anthropology lab with Dr. Michaela Howells. Would you like to introduce yourself and tell us what you do here? Hi, I'm Dr. Michaela Howells. I'm a biological anthropologist. I'm so glad you're here. I'd love to share with you some of our lab materials. I'm so excited to see all the specimens you have here. Come on down. So over here we have the largest primate on Earth oh, living wow. today. So this is a gorilla. Um, and if you'd like to hold the oh, gorilla skull here. So it's a male gorilla and underneath is this one of the smallest primates on Earth. So you can see this great so diversity huge. within primates. Absolutely. Now, Gorillas weren't always the biggest um, species okay. of primates. So if you think about our folklore surrounding Bigfoot and Yeti, right? We have no evidence that any of these animals still survive. But what we do have is Gigantopithecus. Oh, wow. So if you've seen the most recent Jungle Book, you've seen Gigantopithecus played by King Louie. Gigantopithecus was a very successful primate who was about 12 feet tall, survived on bamboo. Um, and was so just no meat, just no meat, just a bamboo eater. That's so amazing. when people talk about having these big bodies and these teeth for chewing meat, no, 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 no. Gigantopithecus did it just fine eating bamboo. And actually, Gigantopithecus we think was outcompeted by pandas. Sorry, I know pandas. Ooh. All right, <laughs> some tension there. <laughs> Females do two things with their pelvis. What do they spend the most of their time doing? They're doing. Walking They're walking day. every day, walking. But then every now and then they are giving birth. <laughs> giving birth, right? So here we have a model. Uh, this is a contemporary human pelvis with a fetal head. So this is the size of an average female pelvis, wow. and the average fetal. Yes, ma'am. You go ahead and turn. So I'm gonna look at you. <laughs> look at you. And if you'd like to help this fetus Ooh. be born, you're welcome to do so. So the challenge is that there's a space trade-off uh, to be able to get this um, Oof, individual born. It's tight. I can definitely tell. Ooh, thanks, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go. I always recommend at this point that you thank any woman in your life who's ever given birth for taking care of you and taking care of whoever they brought into this world. Welcome to your ancestors. I'd yeah, oh, love wow. you to meet your ancestors here. So here we have a contemporary female um, and again, these are all casts that we have. They're, they're not real bones. Um, so we have a, a, a contemporary human female, so you can compare her to our Neanderthal over here. And Neanderthals were about five foot six. They were uh, very well adapted for very cold climates. They have very large rib cages, a larger nasal aperture, and they were shorter and stouter. And down here, you've already met. This is Lucy. So Lucy is, um, you can see she's the blinged out version here. The metal helps fill in the gaps from all of the, her different parts. Well, I'm so glad you guys came, and I would really love to invite you guys to have a snack with us. Anthropology is all about food and sharing, and we would love to invite you to have a small bite. I would be so honored. Today we have one of the most high protein snacks in the world. These are roasted crickets. So cross-culturally, people eat crickets, and this is also a really important snack, and not only snack, but food item for, um, for our australopithecine friends that we just found, our primate brethren, whether it be chimpanzees, um, and then throughout human history and evolution, or erectus, neanderthals. So why not us? So these are made for human consumption, and they are clean, fresh, high protein, low impact on the environment. So yay, protein. All right, 
Happy Halloween, everybody. Happy, Happy Halloween. Halloween. Well, thanks for coming. Thanks for joining us. Thank you so much for having us. I've loved getting to see kind of the evolution of human history, and I really enjoyed this cricket. It's actually not that bad, guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay, come back soon. Absolutely. While I can't believe that I actually ate a cricket, I love getting to learn from Dr. Howells. But I am not the only person to share in that privilege. For some insight into just how awesome this program is, we've talked to a few students about their experience with the anthropology department and the anthropology club. Uh, I, feel, I feel like a lot of other sciences kind of um, only cover one specific thing. Like in biology, obviously it's broad in the terms that there, there are lots of different living things to examine, but um, I feel like uh, a lot of times you end up having to focus on one specific thing. And I love anthropology because everything intertwines with everything else. It's an opportunity um, to show your talents, show your culture, show your language in a way that is unique to maybe it might even be one square mile, but how many one square miles are there on the planet right now? So that's why I love anthropology because it's, it's a new, something, something new is discovered about humans and about the way they think and move every single day. Thank you so much for sharing with us and for giving us an inside look to all things anthropology at UNCW. For more information about the Anthropology Club, feel free to check them out on Facebook and please go visit the department's webpage at uncw.edu slash anthropology. I hope you all enjoyed learning a little bit about the study of humans today. And remember, in anthropology, we do not follow maps to buried treasure. An X never, ever marks the spot. Stay spooky and see you next week, Seahawks. Snakes. Why does it always have to be snakes? And he's like... Like a cricket. <laughs>